For today's video, we are going to talk about what is one-to-one -one functions and we are going to explain everything in details. So when you say one-to-one -one function, the function f is one-to-one -one if for any x sub 1, x sub 2 in the domain of function, then the function x sub 1 is not equal to the function of x sub 2, that is, the same y value is never paired with two different x values. To determine if the given function is one-to-one, -one, always remember, the same y value is never paired with two different x values. And we are going to use this idea in order for us to determine if the given example is one-to-one -one function or not. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first set of example, we are going to determine whether a function is one-to-one. -one. On the first example, we have a set of ordered pair 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1, 8. So this function is one-to-one -one because there are no two distinct inputs that corresponds to the same output. So as you can see, y value is never paired with two different x value. So this set of ordered pair is said to be one-to-one. -one. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have 1, 6, 2, 5, 3, 2, and 4, 5. So this function is not 1 to 1 because 2 and 4 have the same y value. So therefore, our answer here is not 1 to 1. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have a mapping diagram. So we have the values of x that is 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And for the values of y, we have 0 and 1. So as you can see, 5 and 7 is being paired with 1. And then 6, 8, and 9 is paired with 0. So this function is not 1 to 1 because the same y value is paired with different x value. So our answer here is not 1 to 1. And this will be our answer. On number 4, we have the values of x that is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And for the values of y, we have 3, 5, 9, 17, and 33. So this mapping diagram is an example of one-to-one -one function because each y value is paired with exactly one x value. So our answer here that is one-to-one. -one. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have a graph of quadratic function. And this graph is not one-to-one -one because it fails on horizontal line tests. It intersects the horizontal line more than once. Always remember, a function is one-to-one -one if each horizontal line does not intersect the graph more than one point. So our answer here is not one-to-one. -one. So this will be our answer. On example number 6, we have a graph of a linear function. And this graph is an example of 1 to 1 because it intersects the horizontal line at exactly one point. So our answer here is 1 to 1. So this will be our answer. On example number 7, we have f of x equals 3x plus 4. So how can we determine if the given function is 1 to 1 or not? Always remember, if the highest exponent of the function is odd number, it's a 1 to 1 function. But if the highest exponent is even number or an absolute value, the function is not 1 to 1. So on number 7, since the highest exponent is 1, therefore this function is 1 to 1. So this will be our answer. On number 8, we have f of x equals x squared plus 4. Since the highest exponent is even number, therefore this function is not 1 to 1.
On example number 9, we have h of x equals negative 13x raised to 5 plus 5. Since the highest exponent is odd number, therefore, this is a 1 to 1 function. On example number 10, we have g of x equals x raised to 4 plus 3. Since the highest exponent is even number, therefore, this is not a 1 to 1 function. So this will be our answer. On number 11, we have p of x equals 1 over x plus 3. So this example is a rational function, but still, the highest exponent is odd number, therefore, this is a 1 to 1 function. On number 12, we have f of x equals absolute value of 2x plus 5. Since we have an absolute value, therefore, this function is not 1 to 1. So this will be our answer. On the second set of example, we are going to determine whether the given relation is a function. If it is a function, determine whether it is one to one or not. On number one, the relation pairing an SSS member to his or her SSS number. This relation is a function because each SSS member is assigned to a unique SSS number. No SSS member can be assigned with two different SSS number. So our answer here, the relation is a function and the function is one to one. So this will be our answer. On example number two, the relation pairing a real number to its square. So this relation is a function because each real number has unique perfect square. However, 2 raised to 2 is 4 and negative 2 raised to 2 is also 4. That means 2 and negative 2 have the same square. So this function is not 1 to 1. So our answer here, the relation is a function and the function is not one to one. So this will be our answer. On example number three, the relation pairing an airport to its airport code. This relation is a function because each airport has a unique airport code. For example, the airport code of Ninoy Aquino International Airport is MNL. MNL is only assigned to Ninoy Aquino International Airport. And the airport code of Mactan Cebu International Airport is CEB. CEB is only assigned to Mactan Cebu International Airport. Therefore, no two airports share the same airport code. So this relation is a function. And this function is a one-to-one. -one. So to write our answer, let us have the relation is a function and the function is one to one. So this will be our answer. On example number four, the relation pairing a person to his or her citizenship. So this relation is not a function because a person can have dual citizenship. For example, Gabby Lopez of ABS-CBN is a Filipino citizen at the same time an American citizen. So to write our answer, the relation is not a function. So this will be our answer. On our last example, the relation pairing a distance d in kilometers traveled along a given jeepney road to the jeepney fare for traveling that distance. So this example is a piecewise function. 
And this relation is a function because each distance traveled along a given jeepney route has an official fare. So if we are going to represent this one using piecewise function, we are going to have f of d, f that is the fare, and d that is the distance, equals 8 pesos, that is the minimum fare, if your distance is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 4. f of d is equal to 8 pesos plus 1.5 times d, 1.5, that is the amount for every succeeding kilometer if your distance is greater than 4. So this relation is a function. However, this is not a one-to-one -one because different distances are charged with the same rate. So to write our answer, the relation is a function and the function is not one-to-one. -one. So this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.